Hey, it's Goodbye here. In this video, I'm going to be bleeding the brakes on my 19 Mazda Miata. It is pretty much the same procedure for any vehicle. I will be using a homemade container. It's basically a bottle that, that will catch the fluid. And I'll show you how to position it so that a single person can do this without issue. I will be demonstrating on the Brembo's. Again, it's uh, most of your brakes are all the same as far as bleeding them. Be sure to check yours though, just to make sure yours isn't special. So some things you're going to need. You're going to need some new brake fluid. Make sure it is fresh, at least unopened, uh, or just a few months old if you have opened it depending I'm not going to get into what's fresh and not you can look that up you're going to need a I suggest a box end wrench or if you've got one that's for the hoses that'd be great you could use an open end as long assuming they're the bleed valves aren't stuck you're going to need some rags the tool that I'm using or a second person if you want to do the old uh, push stop tighten let up loosen push stop tighten let up okay I, i've already uh, overdone that generally speaking you want to do the longest run to the shortest run that is if your master cylinder is on the left front then you would do the right rear left rear right front left front that's it just as a general practice try to use the same fluid that is currently in it unless you're doing a full flush be aware brake fluid is highly highly corrosive it will take your paint off do not spill it on anything that you value and if you do get it cleaned off read the bottle on how to do that i'll be using a juice bottle it's plenty big. You can use a much smaller one if you want. Um, but having a uh, wider base does help. The cap. You need to drill a hole in the cap that is just big enough for the hose to fit in. The hose I am using is a quarter inch. It's actually an aquarium hose. I started with sm smaller bits. Uh, it turned out that the quarter inch worked for the quarter inch hose. Anything smaller wouldn't go in and it is just tight enough so that there's some resistance. If yours is too loose, just put some tape on it. The reason that it needs to be fairly tight is because that hose, and I'll show you when we get it hooked up, needs to be down at the bottom and it'll have brake fluid in there so it doesn't pull air. The other thing it's going to need, you're going to need, is a vent hole so that your also need a vent hole. It's just a small hole. I'm doing a 1 16th inch. Be careful when you're drilling holes through this. Don't drill into your hand. And that will allow the bottle contents to expand in this case without the bottle exploding exploding <laughs> yeah i find that unlikely no it just won't the fluid will have a harder time going into the bottle unless it's got a vent hole so assuming you have everything you're going to need you're going to want to check the master cylinder make sure that it is topped off Mine is between the minimum and maximum, so I will add just a little bit. I'm going to warn you, if you're using a big bottle like me, it wants to make a mess. So, yes, have rags everywhere. <laughs> and be sure to clean this off. Clean it off before you remove the cap so you don't get any dirt in it. Hopefully I am at an angle where you can see. You should have a rubber cap 
pull it up from the bottom. That's the easiest. Then put it with your lug nut so you don't lose it. If you forget to put it back on, you'll notice after you put the tire up here and go to put the lug nuts on. <laughs> yeah, no, you will. Uh, 10 mil in my case. It was 8 mil on the back. So we're going to slide that on. Now, here's the fun part. Got your bottle. Hopefully your brake fluid will run down into the bottle. There's where it is. The end of it, it's under brake fluid. You need to start that way. So if you have some old brake fluid you can put in there, great. Or put some new, as long as that bottom is covered. Okay, I'm using, as I said, a quarter inch aquarium hose. It's very uh, malleable. It stretches. You could pro this probably would work with the three eighths, but the back ones I felt would have been a little loose. So as you can see, sorry, as you can't see, I am pushing this over the nipple here. And I like the quarter inch. It's harder to put on to get over here, but now it's it's sealed. I don't have to worry about a 3 8 being loose and getting uh, leaking fluid. I've already done the inside. Now I'm doing the outside because you can actually see it. I take, put the bottle up on top here. I like the wider base. If you want to hook yours somehow, to make so that you ensure you don't spill it great and what we're going to do is we're going to crack this open just slightly it's counterclockwise lefty loosey you don't want it too much there's a there's a sweet spot you'll notice you don't want it to come out of the threads and make a mess down your calipers that's why you just want to crack it. Now we're going to, and you see some fluids already coming. So what I'm going to do is slowly push down on the pedal, then slowly let it up. I don't want to do it too abruptly. I don't want to risk at, get somehow sucking air in somewhere. And I don't want to spill it out of the master cylinder. I have the cap on, but not tightened. So you can see it's already just gravity wise. And this I want up on above because air goes up. I don't want that on the ground. I want it above. Slowly down, slowly up, slowly down, slowly up. Hopefully you can see the fluid moving. Slowly down, slowly up, slowly down, slowly up. Is that four or five? Slowly down, slowly up. There's no air, wait. It's a tiny, I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny air bubble right there. And that's all I've seen. So now, you want to close it. And there is some brake fluid that has gotten on here. So you're going to tighten it. You're going to snug this up. Don't over tighten it. Oh. Pinch. Don't spill your bottle. Pinch it. Oh, good night. Pull it off. Ah. Hold it up. Like so. Fluid should run down into the bottle. Oh man, this one, this had to be the one I recorded. I did not splatter it everywhere on the three before this, and this one I have managed to splatter it 
everywhere and get brake fluid in there. So, like I said, with this brake fluid, it's highly corrosive. Get it out. You got to clean that off. So what I will do, I'm going to get some water too, and I'm going to pour some water over it. Make sure that all that brake fluid is off. Do not get it on your paint if you do get it off quickly. So this is done. Don't forget to put this on when you do. If it snaps on, great. If it doesn't, if it's too tight, if it's a little tight, turn it clockwise as you're putting it down so that it doesn't loosen the fitting. Clean the brake fluid off your tools. That's it for this. I had filled it up. I had put some more in it and it's back down to actually it's just just slightly under where it where it was before I filled it. Make sure you top it off each time to make sure so that you don't go too low and it draw air. So let me show you a trick I actually used. So what happens with these big bottles is that the fluid wants to uh, because of surface tension it wants to run down here and that's where it gets everywhere I would still put some uh, rags around here but let me show you this to demonstrate what this is going to do is it's going to catch the fluid that's going to do surface tension <laughs> and this now has fluid on it but here it doesn't yay when you are completely done and the car is on the ground double check your master cylinder make sure it is topped off and check your brake pedal for firmness when you start it check your brake pedal for firmness before you drive it make sure you still got your brake pedal and that's about it hope that was helpful if so please like subscribe comment and that's how you do a one person brake bleed